Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Jason and today we're back with some more of the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Well, last time I uh, I was I was raiding a dungeon. I was going through what was it? this one right here? Kogu Run. I think that's the one I was in. And it, it went deep. It was uh, it was very expansive. And uh, eventually, I was just like, you know what? I keep running out of um, almost said hard drive space. Almost I keep running out of space on my person. I'm carrying too many things. So I, I went and teleported back down to I think it was Balmora, and then I made my way all the way back up to this region here, where I ran to a fellow by the name of what's his name, uh, Athanadin Girith, and apparently somebody went and took his guar hides and I'm here in uh, a small um, an, a small camp the uh, uh, Ahem Musa camp to talk to the Ashlanders about you know if they know anything about his missing guar hides so uh, let's get started with uh, yes, with, with the questioning uh, hello Zalat how are you doing today yes Outlander why are you here do you seek a healer or do you want our traitor actually yes where is your traitor our trader Lanabi has her yurt with the Ashkans and the Gulakans yurts. Okay, so Lanabi, what thank you. I'll, uh, I'm guessing uh, that means that uh, her yurt is here. Where is your yurt? There you are, Lanabi. Oh, there you are. I, I, I didn't see you. There was this, this stuff in the way. Hi, what, how are you Outlander? doing? Why do you disturb me? Uh, because I'm just that kind of person. I disturb people. <laughs> it's the face. People look at it. One look at it like, ah. Oh. Um. I, I, yes, I'm what your traitor. Ah, uh, you're the traitor. Uh, do you know anything about an attack on a gore hide traitor? No, we have not done this thing. The ones you were looking for are uh, Emulran and uh, Kashtis uh, Ilal. Uh, sorry, Ilabel. They are outcasts belonging to none of our tribes. You should be able to find them south of here, along the water's edge. You may, may you bring them to swift justice. Well, that's cool. We got some direction. We know who we have to deal with. Um, it would be a little bit, you know, I, I I can't just go down there with sword swinging though, because, you know, we got we gotta have a balanced approach. We gotta ask them for their side of the story, and then when they're all give all giving us conflicting accounts, then we can really scratch our heads and say, who who is truly responsible? Anyways, we want to head down to the water's edge. Head down over to the um, to the south here. And maybe we will come across these two, uh, these two outcasts of the Ashlander, uh, tribe. Ah, uh, you know, it's, um, you know, I'm kind of glad that I had to, had to go. I, at first, you know, oh man, uh, I was, I was kind of ticked off, uh, last time because I'm like, oh great, I'm gonna have to run all the way back. It's gonna be a waste of time, which, you know, I, I loved, um, I had, I had a ton of fun, uh, running back. Cause that, that's, that's, um... That's how I played a lot of Morrowind back in the day, was honestly, uh, just, just running from place to place. I just loved exploring the wilds. Um, and, uh, I only see one of them. Or maybe the other one's over by the rocks, hidden by the rocks. Um, but you know, when you're recording something, you're like, you want something to happen. So I had to cut out a lot of, uh, that running back. Uh, that, that was a little bit disappointing, but at the same time, there was, it was a nostalgic feel to it. Hey, how's it going, Emil Run? I don't have a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. All right, then we will keep this brief. You know, he kind of looks like a bird. He's got the, the goggles. He looks kind of like he's got a beak here. It's kind of cool, actually. Hmm. What do you want, Outlander? Well, I've heard about an attack on a Gwar Hide Trader. Ah. Are, you are suggesting that we have done this thing? That is fine, Dark Elf, for it is true. All right, so much for the complex uh, figuring of things out. Cassius and I have taken the hides, and in our possession they will remain. Prepare to meet your gods. Actually, there's only one. I keep forgetting what the what the god's name is. I believe it's um, I uh, I I um, what was it? It's not it's not Kinnereth. I joined the uh, temple of Kinnereth in Daggerfall, but uh, we left. Who who's the name of the the god? Uh, um, Arkay. That's who it is. No. Okay, I will I will prepare to meet RK, but I don't think I'm going to go there. For no one made to take what is now ours. You're going to die over guar, guar hides. Some people. All right. Well, um, it looks like he's reaching for a bow. You know what? Because our blade is already maxed out, you know, I really need to get myself a a, a bow. I don't need to summon. Uh, I think that would be uh, that would be a good a good thing. Uh, bound longbow. Dang, I've got a low chance of casting that. All right, let's, uh... Ow! I, I can do this, I can do this. Ow! Stop! 
<laughs> your wounds are great. They are. I guess I can't cast me. I can't get my bow. Uh, I'm, I'm about to run out of magic. There we go. All right, let's uh, let's let's engage into this in combat now. In uh, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. My light armor skill increased to 53. That was the plan all along. I wanted you guys to build up my armor. Ha ha. You're 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 walking right into my plan. My my glorious glorious plan. Ah. Uh, uh, ah, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Come on, get, hit him with another bow, an arrow. Hit him with the bow if, if, if that'll work. Uh, I'm stuck, uh, I'm stuck, I'm out of arrows. <laughs> this colorful commentary has been brought to you by um, myself. Uh, am I out of uh, arrows completely? I do have a cruel flame arrow, but I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna actually switch over to the flying viper. Uh... Get my health up. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna win this one. Okay, where is he? There you are. Oh, come on. Oh. These don't do as much as I was hoping they would do. Yeah, they're, uh... <laughs> they're a little less than effective. Maybe if I max up my, um... My fatigue a little bit more there, because, um... I don't have the, the you know, with the bound longbow, I at least have that... That bonus to marksman, um, but you know I, I've technically got ten points less with this uh, with these daggers. What do these daggers even do? The ones that I'm throwing, the flying viper. Um, cast when strikes, poison three. <laughs> you know all this time I've been reading this. I think I've been reading this wrong. Uh, yep, I, I I've definitely been reading this wrong. I'm like, oh, fortify marksman, one to three points for five seconds. That's great. Cause you know, in my mind, I'm like, okay, I'm I'm using the 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 dagger, and you know, maybe that's the person who designed the flying viper. They're like, you know what, uh, we'll we'll put a bit of a marksman boost on them. But I don't know, maybe they 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 uh, maybe they like me went and made the an incorrect assumption because what this is doing is it's poisoning him and fortifying his marksman, so he's actually a better shot every time I hit him. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, my marksman increased to 29. That, that's cool. Uh, you know, I want to I want to make a, a dagger that uh, a throwing dagger. I want to enchant a bunch of them that actually have restore health on them. So I'm like, I'm healing you with my blade. Okay, he's he's run out of arrows evidently. Now I do like having the the, the, the flying um or the throwing daggers because you can um you can uh, keep bring your shield out right. All right. Yeah, this guy's pretty weak, so <sighs> dead. All right, Emilran, you don't really have anything of interest. To, you do have. I give us Guarhide, though, and I do need to carry those. A uh, weight of one. I can carry that. Uh, you know what? This is a full sitting, uh, sitting, a full sitting of sitting armor. So uh, I'm gonna actually, like, if if ever I want to go like full sitting. I'm just committing to it now. We're just, we're just calling it sitting. Uh, if ever I want to, uh, I can come back here and grab it. Uh, local, we'll just say, um, sitting. There we go. Sitting armor more set. There we go. Sitting armor set. All right. What, is, uh, what does the other person have to say? Uh, he probably doesn't have much to say. He's probably dead, but where did I, where did I kill him? I don't, I don't recall. Was it a little bit higher up on the hill? I think I went around in circles a couple times. Yeah, there we go. Uh, ooh, some arrows. I think, yeah, some, uh, some arrows. I'll take those. Uh, sitting dagger. <laughs> Alright, we'll just drop everything on the ground. Alright, so we've got, we've recovered the, the guar hides. That was, um, that mission was a lot, uh, easier than, you know what, actually we're gonna go ahead with the, um, Close too, just in case. Just in case I want to emulate that uh, that look exactly. There we go. Um, is this pack guard? Do you have anything on you? Can I uh, can I check your inventory? No, I cannot. Okay. All right, so we're done. We're done. We just need to go ahead and find our friend, uh, the one who was robbed, and give him back his hides and see what kind of reward we get for this, um, if any. Because uh, you know we don't always uh, we don't always get rewards for things. Uh, I, I find that's mostly in the, the early part of the game, like some of the uh, the guild quests. 
Um, most quests you do get at least something from them, but it's it's not it's not always to be uh, expected. And I like that. You know, you you don't always do something for something. Um, but it seems like it, it, things, uh, you know, games have sort of created this trope, this thing of, you know, do stuff to get some, I guess it's not really games have created this, it's just sort of an expectation, um, you know, especially with, like, uh, with, like, our society, it's like, you know, um, you know, you, you, you do something, you expect to get paid, you know, unless people, except for, never mind, I'm like, except for, and then I almost, I almost dip, I almost went a little bit into that, that political realm, which I don't want to do, that's, that has no place here, in my video games. Hey, yes, how's it going? Madame, what is it? Well, oh, some respect. That's nice of you. I can't believe those damned Ashlanders would take my hides. Dirty fetters, all of them. That's all right. Um, bastard Ashlanders. Give us gar, gar hides. That's what happened, all right. Uh, I know them anywhere. They look kind of like normal dark elves, but wild. Okay, I'm pretty sure we saw this. Um, here's your gar, gar hides. Thank you for getting them back. It's good to hear you are able to make those fetchers pay as well. Make sure to see Berwyn and tell Mora for your reward. I'll send word along the trade routes to make sure she keeps an eye out for Alexis. Uh, that's right, uh, we need to go talk to Berwyn. And I forgot, he did say that he would, uh, he would talk to someone named Berwyn to, to help us out, uh, reward-wise. So, uh, next time we're in Tel Mora. Where is Tel Mora? Voss, Voss, Tel Mora. Can't add a note, but uh, next time we're in Telmora, we will have to go talk to uh, Berwyn. You know what? Let's go. Let's go there now. Should we go there now? I don't know. Should we? Maybe. I'm thinking about it. I'm seriously considering it. I need to grab some wickweed while I'm here. Wickweed is uh, good for making health potions. All right, we're gonna go around this uh, this hill, and uh, we're, we're gonna go to Telmora. I want to talk to Berwyn. Um, get my reward. I'm not going to bother with uh, the hides or anything off that allot. Uh, I just need to get around this hill so I can start heading to the east once again. Uh, we're pr pretty much going to be traveling across terrain that uh, I've already, I think I've already shown off quite an, uh, enough of. Um, take a look at the map. Yeah, I'm probably just going to be taking that path over towards uh, Telmora. Uh, I'll be back. I will be right back. Who am I being attacked by? Is it, is it the mud crab? Are you seeing Harar? It would, maybe? <laughs> this is message at the bottom of the screen going Harar, Harar, and I'm just like, uh, okay, is it the, is it the mud crab? Uh, I'm wondering if there's a, um, if there's a, uh, maybe a guard nearby. So whenever, uh, when I'm entering combat with the, um, the mud crab, when the mud crab's trying to attack me, uh, you know, it's it's triggering the guard to come and fight it. So he's going Rawr! I don't know uh, Anyways, we are at I believe we're at Telmora, right? This here this here this small little place I'm pretty sure is Telmora. Uh, it's a pretty small place Let me see. This. Yeah, there we go. Telmora uh, And Berwen, I don't remember. I, I, I remember seeing you. I just don't remember who you are uh, uh, Crap there we go. Tell more of Berwyn Trader. Uh, where is Berwyn? Are you upstairs? Hello? Oh, there you are. If you're there's anything I you're can the do, one I stole I the. Uh, at your service. I think I, sh I think she's the one I stole the um, soul gems from. Ah, oh, my friend Alexis. How may be of service to you? Uh, well, I got the Gwarhides back, and I I was told to come here to talk to you for a reward. Ah, my old friend Girith. Um. I don't think that's the name I introduced him as in the beginning of the video. Whatever. I heard you helped him out of some serious trouble not long ago. Some business with a couple of no-good Ashlanders, right? Yeah, it was a couple hours. All right. Um, they'll never learn. Uh, anyway, you have my thanks. I had quite an investment in those Gwar hides. Would have taken quite a beating had uh, uh, Girith not been able to sell them. Here, take these as a token of our appreciation. Three standard Fortify health potions have been added to your inventory. Uh, your journal has been updated, and the Ring of Hornhand, Hornhand has been added to your inventory. What is the Ring of Hornhand? Let's see. Um, I'm going to assume magic. Is it a magic item? The Ring of Hornhand. There it is. Um, yay. 
Damage fatigue, 15 to 36 points on touch. Now this could be a good ring for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Like say if I wanted to uh, just start punching everyone instead of uh, using weapons, uh, I could go ahead and just use, uh, you, you know, use uh, the ring to bring so down fatigue. Do I honor, Denmer? Uh, bring down the fatigue and then, um, then I just punch them out. Uh, because the way it works in Morrowind is if you, uh, whenever you punch the enemy, it lowers their fatigue, not their health. And not until you knock them to the ground can you actually do damage to their health. So if you get rid of all their fatigue, then one punch will lay them out. Uh, I just wanted to get some arrows. Um, yeah, I don't have, I don't have enough arrows, so, um, some cheap arrows. A uh, hundred of them should do the trick, I think. They're not too, uh... You know what, screw it. We're, we're, we are working on our marksmen. Let's get uh, 200 arrows. Uh, I'll give you 170 for them. Oh, come on. That's a good deal. There we go. Alright, so we need to uh, equip the arrows. So we have 219 arrows. Um, you know what? I like the bound bow. Uh, you know, we'll keep using the bound bow. Until we get our, our marksman up to a decent level, I'm going to continue using uh, the bound bow. Alright, so we're done here. Find someone else to bother. <laughs> Alright, I will find someone else to bother. So we're done here with, uh, Berwyn. We got our reward. Uh, I kind of want to continue on my little journey across the top of Ardenfell. I, I like, I know... I, I, I uh... I, I don't know, I was, I was thinking about this while I was, while I was running back. Um, and it's, uh, actually, I probably get some, uh, no, not restore health, I need to restore fatigue. Because I'm probably, probably gonna get attacked underwater here. Um, I'll just let them hit me. Uh, I, I don't really, I can't really, I don't really have anything to gain by using my, my sword. Uh, like, you know, using any weapon. Um, by letting them hit me, I'm actually building up my armor, at least. Uh, like, it's, it's destroy, it's destroy my armor. Sweet! Enchant increased to uh, 35. Like, it's damaging my armor, uh, but my armor skill is increasing, which makes my armor more effective, uh, in the long run. Um, uh, what I do need to do, though, do I have it on a hotkey? Belt of Orc Strength. You know what? We need to, um, change that to the bow ring. Where's the bow ring? There we go. That way there. on quick key and I can practice my my arrowing because that's what we're working on right now is our, our marksmanship ta-da there we go killing things at range um yeah I, I don't know I was thinking about the the, the, the way uh, I've been playing this and uh you know part of me is kind of like well uh, th that that old mentality wants uh, keeps wanting to creep back in where I'm like, uh, you know, you've got to keep making progress here for people or else they're gonna want to leave. And you know, I believe that that that's true. You you know, if you're let's playing, you do have to play a little bit differently than if you were just playing on your own. Um, and uh, so you know, part of me is just uh, oh, hello, Ogrim. Wow. Um. Hmm. I don't think we're gonna capture your soul. Just because I have to get too close and I want to work on my arrowing. It would be a really good soul to catch, though. Maybe when I can get my, uh... My, <laughs> my hit chance to be a little bit more, uh, reliable. Because, uh... Oh, come on. That, that does not summon things for nearly long enough. There we go. One more hit should do it. Now, does he have any loot on him? Just a couple of the arrows I put into him. Um, so yeah, you know, there's uh Oh crap. Wing Twilight's coming at me. Uh, great. We're off right in the middle of uh, the that, That's kind of the reason why I want to be able to get my marksman up so that I can switch to a good bow. Or, or to a non-summon bow, rather. Um, this is not too bad, though. There we go. What about you, Winged Twilight? Uh, Void Salts. Restore Magicka. Yes, please. Now, if I remember, uh, was it Salt Rice? No, no, it's... Void Salts. No, Daedra Hearts. I'm, no, no, there was actually another, uh... I'm trying to remember what... 
ingredient is it that also uh, it restores magicka? Is it crush weed? Let me see. Salt rice is fortify magicka. Wick wheat restore willpower. Void salts. Hmm. You know what? We've got a couple of void salts. We've got three uh, danger hearts. Let's try making our own potions here. Uh, three danger hearts. Uh, three void salts. All right, there's one. There's two. Ah, oh, the third one failed. That's okay, though. Um, make a couple more potions. So, yeah, anyways, um, you know, wow. Oh, that's a lot of failures. Come on. That was, that was, that was kind of decent. Uh, and I don't have stuff to make, uh, restore fatigues. Uh, how good are our, um, Restore uh, Magicka potions right now. Let me see. Restore Magicka. Six points for 15 seconds is this one. Six points for 14. So around six uh, points for whatever. Uh, and the standard restore is 10 for five. So yeah, our, our, our homemade potions are currently better than uh, the store-bought ones. I think that's pretty impressive. Um... Scamp over here. Practice our arrowing with a little bit. Oh wow, we one shot at him. Okay, never mind. Oh, I could have used the arrow on the the, the the net. Oh crap! The arrow took too long to get to him. Wasting arrows. Okay, heading west. Uh, but yeah, you know that, that 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 mentality keeps wanting to creep in where I'm just like, no, no, you you've got to you got to focus more on making progress, Jason. You got to do this. You got to do that. And uh, you know what? No, nope. No, we've, uh, we've been over this several times. Um, I've been over this in my mind several times. We've, you know, I've thought about this. I'm just playing this like I want to play it. And if there's something that's not interesting, then I'll just cut it out and you won't see it. That's all I gotta do. Um, I guess getting some decent editing software, uh, you know, it makes actually editing, uh, the video easier. That, I think that's, that's had a bit of a, a, a role in my, um, Willingness to play things naturally, because uh, when I first started like my my uh, my playthroughs, uh, I, you know when I first first started, I couldn't I could not edit anything. I didn't know how. I didn't have the means to. My computer, for some reason, every every editing software I would use, uh, it just would not work with. It was just not something that I I could do. Uh, so. That's uh, that's why you know I, I sort of developed this um, this thing early on, where I felt like I needed to be constantly talking. You know, if if I if I oh, all right. Um, if I I had it in my mind that I I had to uh, keep talking. If I stopped talking, uh, then that's that's something that was uh, a failure on my part. That that was not a good part of the video. Um, and I needed to, uh, to correct that. And, um, and so that's, that's kind of where this mentality of always having to make progress went because I needed to always have something to talk about. That spell looked like it would have been dangerous had it hit me. Um, I love how the bandits are named. Like, uh, Shishi, uh, uh, Yenomiba. Like, this, this character serves no purpose but to come and attack you and yet she... Uh, and her as well, have names. I find that very, uh, just intriguing. Uh, they're not just named, generic bandit. Uh, 25 gold in their chest. Um, but yeah, so that, that's kind of where that mentality came from, was uh, feeling like I always needed to be, uh, needed to be doing something. That way there, there was always something feeding into my commentary. Um, you know, I was making progress, so that was something that I could talk about, something I could show. It meant that I didn't have to edit things out because uh, I didn't really have the ability to edit things out. Uh, I was, I had to try and uh, reduce the amount of uh, downtime and stuff that I got that would require, um, you know, re would require editing. And uh, so that's where that mentality came from. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, so that's. Uh, I think that there's a little bit of we'll see insight into. Um, maybe why I've altered the, the way I, I played, well, why I used to, uh, a lot more, uh, but now I'm starting to become a little bit more relaxed with, uh, things, be, be, be uh, a little bit more like, you know what, if you guys don't like me having, a, a, having, a, taking a leisurely stroll 
uh, through wherever. Holy cow, there's a lot of things to kill down there. And a lot of things to be killed by. Um, oh, ow. Oh, no, that didn't, that didn't hurt. I was expecting that to hurt. Um, okay, let's drop you. Oh, missed. Uh, so yeah, basically, if you were curious, there's your answer. Maybe I should do, um, <laughs> like, maybe I should do, put up videos where it's just, just me walking. <laughs> if, if anyone wants to see the outtakes, uh, there we go, that, that, that'll be a thing. Um, the, I'll, I'll, I can make outtakes videos of all the stuff that I cut out of the videos. It's n not edited in any way, like, some of the stuff will be just downright boring, it's just literally me walking, um, from one place to another, or, or walking away from my computer, <laughs> just leaving it at the pause screen, but, but no filter, just anything that's cut out of the video, put it into a, a, a cut video, oh, an out cut, uh, or an out, uh, yeah, you know what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say, put it into that style of, uh, a video, I think that would be, uh, uh, that'd, that'd be the kind of thing I, I'd put out for, uh, April 1st, for April, f April Fool's, be like, a new feature for the channel, yeah, there we go. Um, I don't think I'd really do that, but whatever. I will see you guys when we get back to, um, that, that, that dungeon. I really, I really want to continue exploring a Kogarun. Oh, and athletic skill increased to 40. Just, just so you know, before we leave. Oh, crap. I got ambushed from the side. I was, I was aiming at this, uh, Kwama Forager. And, uh, looks like a... Oh, what is that, a Frost Atronach? I just decided to pop out and, uh, give me a bit of a, uh, a bit of a, a hard time here. So, I, oh, and now there's a Mud Crab. A Mud Crab has joined in the fight. This is great. Oh, ow, that hurts. Oh, crap. Oh, cr cool. Oh, crap! That damage over time, um, that's something. My fatigue is low. Come on, there we go. Him down. And the Mud Crab down. Dang! Uh, we got some more void salts. That's good. <laughs> uh, Quama Forager and Mud Crab. Uh, we can use that crab meat to uh, make some uh, restore fatigue potions. Uh, dang! I got I got I got ambushed there. I, I had killed a Wing Twilight there uh, too to get some more void salts. Uh, you know, killing Daedra I think is going to be a, a nice thing now because I get, now I can start making my own uh, restore magicka potions because I'm getting tired of waiting for the um, the uh, the Mage's Guild uh, chests to refill. Uh, like, admittedly, I could just rest a bunch, and uh, that would uh, that that would basically uh, refill the chest because they refill after a certain amount of time. Uh, but that's not what I. Uh, I don't feel it's realistic. Uh, why did I come back? We're not at Koga Run yet. Uh, you know, I'm just running along the along the road, killing everything I see. Why? Why, why have you cut back in? Well, because uh, I looked at the time, <laughs> um, and unfortunately, uh, my time has ended. We, I know we didn't make a a ton of uh, uh, not a ton of progress, but uh, you know, I, I feel like we we completed a quest. Uh, I, I got some thoughts off my chest, uh, we got some skill ups, you know, it wasn't a bad session overall, it was, uh, oh, come on, okay, bow ring, come on, kill the cliff racer, you can do it, there we go, anything else, okay, um, I feel like I, feel, I like it's, uh, it's, it's interesting, because we talked about this whole need to, um, feel this this need to sort of fill space and make, feel like there's always uh, progress and uh, I'm like yeah I'm over that and yet here I am making uh, you know it's, it's, it's almost like I'm trying to convince everyone that we had a good session and uh, but I don't know maybe maybe that's just me going over it and maybe that's just for me I don't know I don't know I don't know anything um, yeah I'm, I'm just I'm just a, a dork who runs his mouth while playing video games I don't know squad I'm not a, an expert on things Oh, maybe I'm selling myself a little short. Anyways, I've uh, tried to, uh, we'll say, drag things on l longer than uh, is really necessary. So we will um, call it quits here. If you like the video, you like the content, and you would like to see more of it, 
go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, go ahead and leave it a thumbs down. Either way, let me know what you thought in the comment section. And until next time, I would like to ask you all to game on. Did you just... There. <laughs>